So I, uh, today's talk is on, or discussion is on please and thank you. So when we were raising our kids, my son specifically, there was a popular um, cartoon on called The Backyardigans. And my wife and I became a pretty big fan of The Backyardigans, uh, mainly because of the pirate songs. So I just thought those were cool. Anyway, uh, one of the episodes is where one of the characters is a princess of Egypt. And um, one, of the, one of the characters, Uniqua, who's this, this purple spotted insect or something. I don't know what she is. But anyway, she, she sings a song called uh, um, Please and Thank You uh, Are the Secrets of the Night. And it's all about how the even princesses have to be polite and how courtesy, common courtesy will get you a long way. Uh, and you can get what you want by being nice to people. So that's the, that's the idea behind uh, the song. This, this came to my mind when I was shopping at Target with my daughter. We had to go by and buy something for a present that she needed to get for somebody. And we were walking up to the self-checkout, to the checkout line. And the line was pretty long. And there was a gentleman standing in the back of the line that I was starting to get behind who was, um, for lack of a better term, a rough character. I mean, he had um, his clothing, his piercings, his tattoos, his hairstyle, his everything about his demeanor. The look on his face, everything about him exuded somebody who was, you know, a rough character, or at least in my view of the world, a rough character. And I have no idea if he was a rough character or not, but I think he was definitely going for that by the metal that he was wearing and the, the, the phrase on his shirt. And he was definitely going for that look. Um, so I was surprised when he said, no, you guys go ahead. And, and I said, oh, no, I couldn't do that. You, you're fine. We'll get, we'll get in line like, you know, like everybody else. And he said, no, please, I want you to go ahead of me, please. And I thought, well, that's interesting. He said, please. <laughs> and just immediately that diffused the situation. And I went ahead and ahead of him as he asked. And uh, after I was done, he said, thank you. And um, I thought, that's interesting. How he, how being courteous and civil to another person, he completely disarmed the situation and completely changed my opinion of the guy. Clearly, he and I had very similar upbringings. My upbringing was language is really important. How you talk to people is really critical. Do not be offensive to people and don't be uncivil. Be courteous and kind to others. And clearly, this gentleman had the exact same belief system that I did. So we really weren't that different. We obviously chose to dress differently. We chose, to, uh, we chose different clothes we decided to put on that morning. Um, but we had the same view of the world. And so as we sat there waiting in line talking, I, this guy turned out to be a pretty cool dude. So I'm just, it was curious to me how I feel like in some cases, civility has just been lost in our society. Like I was in a walking toward, I was walking into a gas station and this lady was coming up to the gas station to a younger girl. She's probably in her twenties. And I opened the door and I opened the door for her and let her go in first because, you know, my grandfather and my father, they would have never have beaten me for not opening the door for somebody. But it was highly encouraged that I was to open the door for others. Like it wasn't like optional. So um, I opened the door for her because that's, that's what you do, right? And she looked at me like I was from planet Mars um, with almost a disgusted look on her face. I thought, that's interesting. So I wonder, you know, when we're online and the anonymity of being online, we have this tendency to be very passionate and spirited in our contention with one another. We call each other names and we say things and we're cynical and we're sarcastic and we're poking fun and we do all these things. 
But when you get somebody one-on-one, when you look at somebody in the eyes and in person, there's a whole different dynamic that goes on. So it seems like as our society has moved more towards a digital remote society and less of an intimate society, then we, we tend to have lost our civility. So I, I wonder if we should reconsider civility in general. Um, I personally think that, you know, there's a lot of things I don't agree with with people. Like, I certainly don't agree with certain things being said or done. But that doesn't mean I can't be civil to fellow members of my society. So, um, anyway, I just thought that was an... And that's what I was... I was uh, reminded of the please and thank you um song and so that got me to thinking just i just needed a reminder in my life that when i'm trying to get what i want when i'm trying to accomplish things when i'm trying to get my points across to remember simple phrases simple things might actually help you get where you want to in life thank you